Hi. Today I'm going to take you through the steps to install your turntable and tape player in order to convert your sound, your audio files, into your computer. We're going to be using a Windows 7 computer today. And the first thing we're going to need to do is actually get the program to record into on your computer. So, open up your internet browser and go to www.ionaudio.com. Once you get there, scroll down to the bottom right corner of the window and click on that square right there where it says Easy Vinyl Tape Converter Software. Once you do that, it'll bring you to another page where it has the downloads. The Windows is good with Windows XP, Vista, Windows 7, 32, and 64-bit operating systems. When you click on that link, it'll start a download. I recommend saving the file on your computer. Different internet browsers save downloads to different areas on your computer. The default location for downloaded files on Windows 7 is as follows. Go to your Start menu, click on Computer, go to your C drive, find Users, and then your username, and in that folder you'll be able to find the Downloads folder. Within the Downloads folder, that's where your download should be as the default. Once you find the file, click and drag it onto your desktop. And then you can close that window, and we can just work with the file from here on out. This file is a zip file. You can tell that by the little zipper that's on there. Basically, it's a file that needs to be kind of opened up so that we can utilize what's inside. In order to do so, you can right-click that file and choose Extract All. does not say desktop, choose the browse button, find desktop, and choose OK. Make sure you uncheck show extracted files when complete, and press extract. If this opens up this window and it says do you want to copy this folder without encryption, press yes. You can also put a check in the do this for all current items and then press yes. This will create two files or folders on your desktop. One of them is a folder that says Mac OS X. You can delete this. We do not need this folder. The other one is the setup file, an unzipped setup file for Windows. As you see, that's the zip file, and this is the file we can now run because it's unzipped. Double click that file. This window may show. The publisher could not be verified. Choose Run. This software is absolutely safe for your computer. Once this opens up, choose your language, choose next in the wizard, accept the agreement if you'd like to look through it, look through it right there, press next. This is a location where it will install on your computer. If you want to change that, you can choose it with the browse button. Press next. Create a desktop icon. And then press the install button. Uncheck launch because we're going to access this a little bit later. Press finish. This created a desktop icon so that we can easily open up the software when we choose. The next thing we need to do is ensure that we have iTunes on our computer. If you do not have iTunes on your computer, visit www.itunes.com you'll be able to find the free download of iTunes at that link. We want to ensure that we have an updated version of iTunes as well. 
If you go to the help menu and choose about iTunes, it will scroll up. It'll tell you the exact version of iTunes that you have on your computer. In order to ensure we have the latest version, within the help menu, you can also choose check for updates. If you do not have the most updated version of iTunes, please update it now. Once this is done, close iTunes. 